We might be drunk, we might be drunk As long as we are hanging out, you know we might be drunk Raise a glass, let's talk shit Head peeps, Rex, and a bit Maybe drunk, we might be drunk Yeah Yo, happy new year, we love you guys Thank you for listening uh, Dude, happy new year Hey, happy new, 2022, here we are what? Came out of nowhere. Oh, God, this is crazy. I know, we lost so much time with the pandemic, and I, I hate losing time. We're both scared of death, <laughs> you know? So, so we're opening death? Well, I'm just saying, it's it's a looming fear just waiting there. It, it is. The, the sickle just coming down on us. Yeah, so dude, we it's create. coming. It's that, coming. That's our answer to death is creating. Yeah, I think about that a lot. That guy, you do so many late night sets, I was like, oh, that dude's scared of death. Oh, He yeah. wants a catalog. Yes, I want a cannon. What is a cannon? You ever heard cannon? Yeah, sure. Okay. The cannon. Yeah, the the is the body. What is it? What's the difference between a cannon and a catalog? Is there? I guess catalog is what you sell coats out of, you know, or a West Elm catalog. You don't have a West Elm cannon. Is there a oh, difference? What do we got? A general law rule principle criterion, which a coll- but also a collection of oh. sacred. Yeah, it's. Oh, okay. I think it's both. Yeah. Oh, the cannon's a little more sacred. Hmm. Biblical canon. All right, all right. Good to know. We're doing a little... We don't have the beer Jew this week. We're doing a little Terramana and soda. It's a new year. We want to start light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tequila soda, though. You can't go wrong with a little fruit in there. It's nice. We're out of lime, so I we wish we had lime. I want, I want a lime. A lime goes a long way. Like, you ever do a shot of tequila, and you hit that lime, and you go, I'm completely cured. Isn't that crazy? It's well, they crazy. use it for dead bodies. Do they? In the war, they'd use limes. Lime no. juice. Is that? Am I wrong? You're thinking of lime. L-Y-M-E. That's a different lime. That's how they bury people. Lime disease. Lime and limes are very different. Do they not use? Yeah, I'm a real fucking idiot for saying that right now. Well, I, I've only seen it in, in like horror Here's another movies. one. Mustard gas. Real mustard. <laughs> That's Dijon, baby. <laughs> I thought they use lime to kill smells, though. Am I that fucking dumb that I just said that? Is there lime and smelling salt? What's in a smelling salt? But wait, hold on. We're still on the lime thing. Does limes kill smells? Oh, wait a minute. Controlling odors from pets and livestock. I don't know about the dead bodies, though. Huh. I might have overstepped here. I think it's you're thinking of lime. They yes, always pour that I on the, the graves. Um, yeah, but lime does it does something it is something about like that tequila shot where you're like, oh my god. I know, it's it helps you. It's nothing works all the time except limes and chapstick. Chapstick works, man. You put it that shit on your like, It's a minute, yeah, but it's like Coke. It they wears keep you off. coming back for more. It's like it's like you feel like a degenerate gambler asking for a loan. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. what chapstick is. Chapstick is short money. You know, it, it'll get you by, but it ain't lasting. You're better off investing. That's why I never use it. I don't really? own one chapstick. My girl all day is just boop boop. You don't boop, own boop. one? No, I don't want it. I got you, one right here. You see, you're gonna rely on it. A uh, what? I got another. Oh, you got Burt's Bees and Chapstick. By the way, I handed to Burt's Bees for coming in on that Monopoly and trying to make its own way. Because they, they came in. Chapstick had the market cornered. It's like Kleenex. When you talk about tissues and you're like, Kleenex, and you're like, that's a brand that's of a tissues. That's a brand. Band-Aid. That's another one. They're good. That's a name for that. Give that a goog. What's the name of that term where you have the brand and they take over? Sharpie's another one. Give me a Sharpie. Mm. I think highlighter might be one too, but Is I might highlighter be, one too. I might be overstepping. There's a name for that term. Oh, forty-one. But 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 wait, what's it called? Yeah, Xerox, Taser, Google. Google's a, Google's a big one. Big one. I'm gonna Google that. Wow, they fucking that's yeah. crazy. No one says I'm gonna Yahoo that. Yeah. Genericization. No one says I'm gonna ask Jeeves that. Yeah, you got that right. Generis- genericization. I might say I might be saying that wrong. Genericization. That looks right. All right. What about um? And do you have any uh, New Year's resolutions, Mark? Ah, I never do them. Never. I feel like if you got a thing, just do it. Because if you have to talk about it at a party, here's my resolution: you're not really going to do it. Fair enough. You're all talk. But this is a podcast. True. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Nothing that you want to change. Uh, all right, here's one. All right. I uh, when the when the COVID hit, the gym, my gym closed, 
and I just stopped. I used to go to the gym twice a week. It was well, like part which, of my life. The the you the rec you're... center. Yeah, same. Really? Yeah, yeah. The rec center is the best deal in New York. Yeah. It's like eighty bucks a year. You get the ping pong. You get the shower. You get the basketball. You get the weight room. The, the swimming. Pool. The swimming is what I would do. I mean, it's you and a bunch of geriatrics, but fuck it. You yeah. also feel like a badass in Ger- there. Geriatrics in better shape than me. <laughs> I, 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 there used to always be, I used to do a bit about this, but there used to always be a woman on a noodle and you just have to swim around her. And you're like, this is the dumbest setup for, for your exercise. There's so many Asian dudes there. The Asians The Asian love dudes it. swim. Yeah, they swim and they pong. Yeah. The Asians dominated. A, they're like black of NBA. Asian pong. pong. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've seen Forrest Gump. <laughs> so what about, uh, so you just stop going to the gym? Don't you, why don't you just get a regular gym membership? Well, I got, I got fond. I got, I got, um, I grew a, a, a love for the wreck. I helped yeah. the old guy, you know, some old guy in dress socks is like, ah, and I would go, let me help you there, Siegfried or whatever his name is. It's always some guy like Merman or Siegfried. something. Siegfried. It's always some old guy, Duncan, you know, so I go, hey, let me help you. And he goes, thanks, Sonny. Let me buy you an egg cream or whatever. <laughs> you know? Mark saved Bernie Sanders at the rec center. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Still don't have health care. But uh, that should be a resolution. Oh, that's pretty good. Can we I think that should be the resolution. That Mark has to get health insurance. We'll take it out of the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need I I have been to the hospital since eighty eight. It's not just the hospital. It's it's like it's a, it's more of a just in case that you should get it, Mark. You're making I a should. lot of money. It's I really get a, it. it's it should be one of the, it's like, it should be like an agent or a manager. It's a, that's the thing you just have. But don't you feel like if you don't go to the hospital you wasted that month? I mean, do you not go to the doctor for anything? You've told me you've had shoulder stuff. I mean, what do you do? You just pay got, out of pocket? I, I know a guy. I know a guy. This is how he's going to... Mark, I've got prostate cancer. You should see a doctor. <laughs> I've got a guy. He, he meets me in an alley. He gives me a shot. <laughs> Meet me at this Chipotle bathroom. I'll, I'll look at your prostate. <laughs> he knows the code. This guy's a pro. <laughs> Uh yeah all right maybe you're right get health care because when you go without insurance a they look at you sideways sure. they go hey what's your insurance like I don't have it they go Jesus Christ yeah. and then it's like four grand yeah dude that's like what health insurance costs for the year you should do you should get it yeah Matt, am I wrong here maybe I'm holding out look for... at Matt is also saying you should get it I keep hearing health care is on the way it's coming it's coming free health care. I don't think it's coming. Oh, all right, all right. If Obamacare didn't push it through to free, nothing is going to push it through. I mean, that's we're, we're it's not going to be free. I mean, American yeah. healthcare fucking blows, but yeah. you got to get it. Yeah, it's right. really horrible, but it's, I'm not doing a great sales pitch here. <laughs> it's the worst. It, I sound like I'm talking about Game of Thrones. It's terrible. You got to watch. <laughs> right, right. Well, the thing about uh, Obamacare is I signed up and then they had, I had one one hiccup with the password and I just said, fuck it, I'm done. You might be, because you did that Netflix special, you might be eligible for uh, SAG? SAG. Oh. You should look into that. I got to pay those dues. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, jeez. I'll just pay them when I get a part in something. Uh, yeah. They remind you. Mm-hmm. Those unions remind you. I know. Unions, man. They're not fucking around. They're not fucking around. And then you forget to pay it, and then five years later, they're like, oh, you owe uh, 10 grand. You're like, Jesus Christ. I have a gym in my building. I don't. It's a small one, but I don't use it a lot. What? Oh, well, I use occasionally, but I, I'll tell you this. I got a trainer because of my neck, so uh. I was like, I don't use her a ton, but we, I use her to kind of get back into it, and it's a whole thing in my building. It's a lot of old people, and they're mm. kind of like- you're not allowed to use a trainer. So I've been scolded a couple times Whoa. for this. First off, I'm going to say this about my building. I get woken up every day by construction. Some old asshole is getting, uh, you know, renovations going on in there. Yep. You know, it's not enough. There, it's this shit. This is a peeve of mine. And look, I'm going to I'm gonna start with saying this is a real first world complaint. But guess what? We're living in the first world, baby. You so got let's that right. fucking go. Hell yeah. Here's what happens. I'm in there with a trainer and two separate old guys walk over to me and go, we don't care personally, but you're not supposed to have a trainer. What? But, they, but we don't care, so mums were, but you just so you know. Because you're young or because they're in the building? Just because they don't, some weird thing where buildings are like, you're not supposed to have trainers in here. What the fuck? How exclusive is that? I can't bring a gal in to work out with? Uh, she's literally guiding me because I'm in, I, she doesn't want me to get re-injured. Uh. So it's like, that's literally why she's there and we're very quiet. But they were like, I, it is a peeve of mine. People go, I don't care personally, but this is the rule. I'm like, well, listen, nerd. I didn't read the, hi- the handbook here. So yes. that's why I don't know the fucking rules. 
I'm yeah. breaking rules without even knowing them. I hate these nerds, and they're all on the board. Hey, we're on the board, and the That's board says- That's a New says, York thing, the co-op board. Co-op board is a menace. You're, if you're on a co-op board, you're a fucking nerd. You're worse than the Klan. <laughs> yes, it's That's, a whole different kind of group. It's exclusive to New York. Only in New York where they're like, we have to approve you yes, for this. Yes, yes. Get a fuck. Get over yourself. I know. We have a board in my building, and they're a nightmare, because we, we had to rent out the roof for stuff, because the roof is common space. So, like, hey, we're going to have a barbecue, and they're like, oh, all right, well, we're going to charge you this much. It's got to be over by 11. I'm like, what is this, Russia? We're having a barbecue. Get out of here. It's open air. No one is up here. It's really crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's a New York thing. Yeah. And the nicer the building, the cuntier the board. Yeah, anyone who's involved with that shit, it's like, oh, just get over yourself. I know. Get a life. Go do something. Go help. Go to a soup kitchen. What are you hassling the people who live here for? Yeah, well, they were they were definitely annoyed with me. They were definitely like, we don't mind. I'm like, I think you mind. That's a big peeve. The, yeah. The, 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 I'm okay with it, but just so you know the rules. That's, get out of here. Get out of here. I know exactly what you're doing. It's passive aggressive. It's phony. It's bad. Yeah. You should do that. Hey, I don't mind your toupee, but I heard some people talking about it. You know, like, where does it end? Yeah. So what does the trainer do? Is she? Is she... She's just kind of guided me to, like, strengthening my, my neck again. Because, you, know, you know, I have a herniated disc. But, I mean, do you do pull downs or? Yeah, whatever we can. But she's just making sure my neck is in the proper position because I could re-injure it easily. Does she hold it? Does she give you a brace? I'm worried yeah. she's getting a free ride here. How uh, much you paying this gal? Uh, let's, we'll talk off. All there. right. All right. This gal's got the sweetest gig in the world. Hey, watch the neck. Okay. Now do another one. Watch the neck. Well, she's also she's strengthening, you know, she's strengthening the muscles surrounding it so oh, I don't get re-injured. I mean, that's okay. the whole thing. No, I'm, it's not. Yeah. You got to know about the body. You got to yeah. know the anatomy. All right. All right. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, uh, hey, she hands you a pillow and an ice pack and an apple juice. I don't know if it's a real gig, but I, I'm not there. She does Lunchables, too. <laughs> it's not... Uh, all right, all right. Teddy Grahams? <laughs> <laughs> Teddy Grahams were kind of underrated. Oh, I love Teddy Grahams. Dude, and... you know I fuck with cinnamon Teddy Grahams. Oh, I was a chocolate man, but I'm with you. Oh, really? Chocolate? Well, well, the other one was honey, right? Oh, yeah. What, honey were, the, what were the flavors? Pull up the flavors. Wasn't there a blue box, too? Was that original? Maybe, Original maybe. was good. Yeah, yeah. Those were golden. No, that's a different thing. Golden grams is a cereal. Those were good. Honey grams. Oh, Teddy. There he is. Dude, I was in 7-Eleven by the comedy cellar the other day, and they sold vanilla frosted Dunkaroos. Damn. For my money, I don't think it got any better No, that's the child. way to go. Because look, we all have a Pop-Tart, but they're too big. That's the way to get some frosting. And it's just a, a bite-sized version. Look at this shit. They w they went woke with Teddy Grahams now. He's got to be holding up a fucking butterfly. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> it used to just be a gram. Now he's got to be saving nature. Yeah, this he looks like a Lunesta ad over here. <laughs> Teddy Graham. Come on, it's sugar. It's drugs. Don't, don't fuck around Teddy, with me, Teddy. He's got erectile dysfunction. <laughs> what the hell happened to him? Do we have him on the screen? <laughs> Are we showing him? God damn it. Teddy well, got anxiety. What, go to the old ones. <laughs> You know this shit had like hydrogenated oil or whatever know, shit it's gave poison. you cancer. It's all poison. We were eating cancer as kids. Honey, that was a big one. What yeah. Was, what are the other ones? Well, he was Child. gay back then. Apparently, he's <laughs> got the half shirt on, the belly shirt. <laughs> <laughs> can you see this on the? Can the audience Look at see this? this okay, Teddy just joking. Get assless chaps. We're like, Jesus Christ, he's got a little hat on. <laughs> he's got a ball gag and a butt plug. All right, we're going medieval on Teddy's ass. What what, what other flavors were back in the day? <laughs> yeah, these are the new ones. What the hell is this? Shit? Nabisco. The fucking you know it's an evil corp. Nabisco is definitely one of those companies that was trying to give women like breast formula. <laughs> you know those yeah, companies right. that were like. You gotta have uh, breast milk formula. Right, right. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't remember the old one. They've they've brainwashed me. I can't remember. Woke. Uh, woke. Uh, woke Teddy Grahams. Woke Teddy Grahams is a great like woke uh, candy people. Is a f it used to be just the Tricks Rabbit, Lucky Charms. Uh, you know the the what's the Pillsbury Doughboy? He's can he's they do body Lucky, is Lucky Charms not like offensive to the Irish now? I mean, is that where we're It'll at? It'll get there. The It'll Irish don't give a fuck. Which is nice. Yeah. There's Irish coffee. I beat you like a redheaded stepchild. Irish shot. goodbye. Irish goodbye. They're fine with it. The best goodbye. Great goodbye. I'll say of all the goodbyes, I've never regretted an Irish goodbye. No, good point. I mean, we had DeRosa on. I remember he literally yelled at me twice for leaving his birthday in like a drunken blackout. Like, fuck you. You're a shitty friend. Three in the morning on like a Tuesday or wow, Monday. Yeah. And, and you're just kind of like, this is what the Irish goodbye is for. 
It's to save me, because he doesn't remember doing it anyway, but you're like, I don't want to. You just want to get out. Yeah. Well, the problem with the get out is they go, no, stay. One more shot. And you're just avoiding that. It's not that I, I dislike you or I'm trying of to course. leave you. Of it's course. just the fact that you get me a headlock and you go, come on, you pussy. Stay another hour. And you're like, dude, it's five. Let me We're go. We're too old to have friends like this. This is a I bad know. sign. Most once you hit like once you have friends who are like forty and up, they should not be asking you to take another shot. That's a, those are some problematic friends. And we're already like teetering on blackout. Let's just enjoy the buzz. But I mean, who am I talking to? I'm, I'm I like to keep it going. I do too, but I want I, that next day now, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's one thing you learn. It's uh, enjoy the buzz and just go home. Remember, were you a fruit roll up or fruit by the foot guy? Um, I mean, I was a fruit roll up, but my parents wouldn't buy any of that shit. I had to like mooch it. Like I would have to go to friends' houses. Yes. Yeah, my parents wouldn't get that shit either. I loved it. I know you go to friends' pantries. It was like the scene in Pulp Fiction where they open the (laughs) the box with the glow. I was like, oh my god, Dunkaroos, roll ups, uh, gushers, gushers. Oh my god, we didn't have a gusher in my home. It's the closest you take. You come to taking one on the face as a child. <laughs> Just shoot a hot load of uh, juice right over your chin. <laughs> That's true. That explosion was that was serious. Oh man, you really felt the gush. Oh, it was so. They were so good. Oh yeah, that man. shit's po- it must We must have been eating poison. Who knows what that was? All, All that, that shit. shit. <laughs> All that stuff was bad. The cereal was bad. The lunch was bad. Like goldfish. I'm sure goldfish is just. Goldfish is so good. I know. But Cheddar it, goldfish. Anything leaves anything that leaves a cake in your teeth like that though is bad. I know. Yeah. You gotta get it out there. It's just that gooey paste. Ugh. Every disease comes through the gums and we're literally just walking <laughs> around with shit mushed in our mouth and you're like, Hey, why does my breath stink? Oh yeah, I ate a a, a uh, by the way, that paper bag too. Goldfish was really trying to be high end for a while. Pe- Pepperidge Farms, yeah, yeah. Or Milano. It's like you're like just fucking give me a no. Chips Ahoy was never putting on airs. Good point. I'm coming in a sack. Yes, you know? the Keebler Elf kept it real. <laughs> but yeah, Pepperidge Farms, Milano, the other one with the Chessmen. The Chessmen, yes, that's the, it. Had a rook on it. Yeah, was it a rook or the knight? I don't know. Might have been the knight. Pull up, pull up some of the Pepperidge Farms. It was the horse. Bags. I think it's the knight. They can go diagonal. Chessmen cookie. They were good cookies. Or maybe that's the bishop. Ooh, those butter cookies, dude. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, it was the knight. All right. Or oh, was it all the pieces? Oh, I guess it was all of them. I only had the knight. What What were the other big Pepperidge Farm? I mean, dude, those uh, Milano was Salsalito huge. cookies. What's that? Pull those up, man. You know what I don't care for? And we'll get to this later because this might start a debate, but uh, the Tates. What are those again? Tates, you'd seen them. Oh, yeah, they're fine. Oh, those are great. That is that's one of the better cookies in the in the uh, market there. Put those in the microwave for Woo! twenty seconds. You get yourself a glass of milk, my friend. You got yourself an evening. Yeah. <laughs> that's like free basin. I mean it's too good. You're flying close to the sun with that shit. <laughs> oh, house. I love a little white chocolate macadamia. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah, dude. Jesus. Man. Lick my asshole while you're at it. This is when we're supposed to be turning our our year around. This is when people go to the gym. This is like the month. You're right. There's a lot of, I'm sure, I want, but those gym rats look at the the January people the way we look at hobby comics. (laughs) They're like, you fucking bitch. You don't, you don't take this seriously. Yeah. You have no idea. You work in a cubicle. You're trying to live off some weird fantasy. It's not going to last. This is the gauntlet. This is Thunderdome, baby. Tahoe's. Those were good. Damn, the yeah, doublet. Oh, cookies. Those this were... is all above my pay grade over here. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't really get cookies anymore. Honestly, I don't. No, like, I don't well, really buy them. You can't buy them because you eat them the first day. You know, you pull them out of the bag. You put your eggs in, your milk in the fridge, then you pull those Maui's out, and you're done. Special occasion though, I will do like man, they're fu- like you know, <sighs> milk bar. Sometimes you're just like, I'm just gonna order a milk Ooh. bar. Glass of milk, movies. That's a fun. That's a fun evening. That is very nice. Cause you watch an old movie with some fucking sweets. Uh, Holy shit! Black and white movie, glass of milk, comfort zone, bro. Hell yeah, love it. You get a black and white movie, black and white cookie. Now you're in. Yeah, dude. I never liked the black and white cookie. I think it's overrated. It kind of sucks. It's not great. Hey, they, they, they a whole Seinfeld thing. They went with the whole unity thing. Right, I'm like, right. That was a woke cookie back then. Ah, <laughs> diversity. That was, yeah, that was that was their whole push, white and black. Right, that's true. And Asians are like, hello, we can't get in there. <laughs> Hispanics, nothing. <laughs> Pull up the Tates if you can. Now we're going we're going all Google in this app. 
or or uh, I should say Tate's search are, engine. They're, yeah, they're like they're they're good, but like let's not get carried away. They're too thin and hard. Mm. I don't like thin and hard, like my dick. But uh, they're just too. <laughs> I like a soft cookie. I want grandma. I want the warmth. I, I want like the crunchy. P- yeah. Oh, you do like crunchy. The problem with crunchy is though it makes a mess. Yes. That's you're ruined. the issue. Yeah. Cr- crunchy. Now we got crumbs everywhere. There's a little mouse nibbling on the floor. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, not a fan. That's why I don't like the mala or the uh, the en- not the entomans. What's that fucker on the plane? The Biscoff. Biscoff. It's all crumb. Yeah, we have it on the plane, though. It's not your problem. That's Kind of like trimming your pubes in a hotel bathroom. <laughs> Let's put this on someone else. Which I'm also a fan of. <laughs> That's where I get it done. Really? Yeah, I'm not Me doing too. that at my house. I'll leave a big tip. <laughs> I'll do it right over the toilet. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I, try, I try to get it in, but every once in a while I have an off-shooting night. Yeah, you got a rogue pube. <laughs> it's always gray. You got any uh, grays yet? Yeah, I have grays right here. Oh, yeah. I got them on the side real bad. But I'm talking about pubes. Oh, I don't know, actually. Mm. That's a bummer. I'll check my teeth. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you do, boy. (laughs) Tates are overrated cookies. Yeah, yeah. The green bag. They're fine. I do like... I do like those butter cookies, though. That's a real cookie. Whenever someone, it's holiday season, and people start bringing around those cookies or like those. How do you feel about the uh, schoolgirl cookies? Girl Scout? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think no, they have school overrated. boy cookies. That's why I was confused. Do they? They, yeah, yeah, pull up the school what the boy cookies. School boy they're cookie. good. They're good cookies. Okay. School boys. Those are another classic. That's Kevin Spacey's favorite. <laughs> But uh, I don't know those. Oh, that's a good cookie. Yeah, so you know those. Yeah, I didn't boys. know they were called Schoolboy. It's a yeah. little uh, risque. Yeah, Schoolboy. Well, uh, they have, we have they have the they have the Girl Scout cookies, but there's no Boy Scout cookies because no one wants to give the money because the first thought in your head, pedophilia. That's right. They're using this money on trips. Yes, this fucking guy with uh, touchy fingers. Yeah, that was my money. <laughs> you know who loves the the. The Boy Scout pedophilia is the church. They're like, thank God, put it on those weird campers. We'll be here at the Vatican. <laughs> what about uh, the really good ones are the Samoas? Those are the classics. Mm, is that the is that the one with the chocolate swirl on it? That that weird ribbon, with the uh, hole in it. Yeah, that's it. That's a that's the best one. That's the king. The thin mints can go fuck themselves. Get out of here. The lemon up stink. Toffee stinks. I don't want to be thinking about my breath when I'm eating a cookie. Yes. Let me live a little. Shortbread, boring, peanut butter. That's new. That wasn't banging when I was back in the uh the the rotation for a peanut butter Girl cookies Scout. as a kid was my go to. Yeah. That's the shit. Oh, peanut butter. You can't go wrong with peanut butter and any sweet. Love peanut butter. Peanut butter ice cream, peanut butter shake, peanut butter sauce spread <laughs> Sorry. well peanut sauce you got the pad thai oh that's right so let's uh, let's give a, a toast to the peanut yes carver thank you that looks like a fucking little guinea pig shit what the hell is that cookie Guinea Pig <laughs> Shit's my favorite uh, punk band. <laughs> you gotta go see Guinea Pig Shit. Guinea the, Pig uh... Shit. You guys ready to rock? <laughs> Woo! Guinea that... Pigs are cute animals. They are. Have you seen those? They're oh, fucking. Yeah. They're adorable. My friend had a few, but now they 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 test things on Guinea Pigs. That's where we get the name. Awful. You're the Guinea Pig. Awful. But is that real? I must be. What are they testing on a yeah. Guinea Pig? Space travel, makeup. What are we talking here? I had a guinea pig as a kid. Really? Yeah, I loved it. Snuggles. R.I.P. Really? To a legend. I know, but they're just sitting at. I, first of all, they no, smell they play. Weird. You, you hand them a carrot, they nibble on it. Oh. You can hold them. They oh. they uh, they go through little mazes. They're fun. Man. Oh, okay, you can yeah. hold them though. I found out my mom uh, <laughs> picked me up at school one day, and she goes, "Snuggles died in the ER," and I was like, <laughs> looking back, it's a pretty funny sentence. But as a kid, I burst out crying. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, my cat was killed as a kid. By the way, my cat was just outdoors 98% of the they're, time. They're cute as hell, those animals. Cute cute animal. Look at that. They're a good size, too. They're not too big, not too small. But my cat was killed by a, a banister. It was up against the wall, and the cat jumped on it. It was like a piece of a banister. And they, the cat jumped off, and the banister fell on top of it, crushed it. Oh, that's awful. I know. My dad was like, do you want to see it? Or do you want to see it? Well, he was like, do you want to say a word or whatever? And I was like, ah, just bury it. 
Damn. I get it. I couldn't. You, you I couldn't lit it on it. fire like the end of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said a prayer. I <laughs> couldn't see it. Oh, that's fucking brutal. I know. You know what I realized? Guinea pigs. They're really lucky they don't have tails. Yes. Because that's why no one likes the. Uh, is the, it the hamsters or the gerbils? Because one of them have tails. Possum's got a wicked tail. They're gross. People, so gross. How about people who have pet ferrets? What the fuck is oh, wrong with them? What a weird. It's like if Rockstar Energy Drink was an animal. <laughs> That's a bad look, the ferret. They smell weird. They run all over the place. They're gross. They're terrible. Bad move. White trash, ferret. It is white trash. Yeah. Yeah, you picture them opening a door with like a Miller Lite and a wife beater. Yes, you know? yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm not drunk. You're drunk. <laughs> the cops just beating the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah, WWE's on in the background. They're playing some kid rock. Yeah, bad look with the ferret. But my friend had one. How about the guy with the snake? I mean, that's a weird look. What too. are we even doing? Yeah, his whole thing is, well, I'll feed him a mouse, and he holds it up. It's it's a weird. This day. guy wanted to not develop a personality so bad he got into fucking reptiles. Are yes. you kidding? You see that guy in the West Village, and he's just uh, with all uh, with the one on his shoulders. Oh my god! Yeah. What are you doing? That guy's weird, and also the uh, the pigeon guy. You know the yeah. guy who's just sitting there. He's got thirty-eight pigeons on his on his ass, and he's feeding them and shit. You're like, what are you doing? This is your day. I was like, I, hear, I get it when you're like a little kid and you want to like feed a duck and you have, get like sure. the, the bread or something. But like feeding pigeons, like these are birds. There's diseases. I like know. what are we doing? And look, don't get me wrong. Culturally, I love the pigeons. They're a part of the city. Sure. I see pigeons. I get happy. I go to the you know Atlantic City. You get the seagulls, and you're like trash. I'm a pigeon man. You yeah. know. But but the but the goddamn are the. Uh, they're just kind of, they're gross animals. Rats with wings, they say, and they nailed it. I mean, they're the worst, they're the gutter, like, they, they go through the gutter. They're they are bad. They live in the, they go through the trash. They we need pull a out Pixar shit. movie on them. Oh. A Pixar pigeon movie. They're fun animals. They, they're doing this the whole time. They're yeah. doing the, the Mick Jagger. They got grit, you know? They're like uh, like Italian guys on a stoop, you know? They've lived. They've you seen You picture them shit. with a cigarette, you're like, yeah. shut up. <laughs> The, uh, oh, what is this? Is that a pigeon movie? Animaniacs had a, uh, oh, Disney Wild. I don't know what that is. Animaniacs had a whole sketch on pigeons, and they were they were called the, the Good Feathers. And it was like a bunch of mob guys who were, and it was pretty great. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're grimy. They're, they're gritty. Pigeons make it work. They evolve. What, uh, you got any peeves this week? Mm-hmm. Big peeve. Yeah. Now, let me throw this at you because it's a weird one, and I might need you to interact so right. you really understand it. So I, I worked with a guy, and uh, he had bad pauses. Let me let me show you what I mean. So, you know, you're trying to bond with a guy in the green room. You don't know him that well, so you want to chit-chat. Uh, let me throw one at you. Oh, hey, I, I like those shoes. Oh, Good thanks. shoes you got there. You see what I'm saying? I will try it again. Uh Oh, you got a haircut? I did. I like I it. <laughs> you see the pause. It, he opens it up for a conversation, and then he slams you because he's thinking, "Oh, it's still, I'm still going," but you think I'll be polite and I'll chime in. It's weird. you don't think about time. You think about timing being like a showbiz thing, but like you need timing off stage too. It's everything. Totally. I mean, it ruins the whole conversation. So the whole time we're going, "Oh, sorry, uh, 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 sweet guy, nice guy," but the pauses were off all weekend. You and we like couldn't, the pauses? Yeah, exactly. We couldn't build. We yeah, couldn't yeah. get anywhere, and the whole thing was ruined. Bad pauses. Yeah, that's rough. Bad. What that's... are you drinking today? I'm having Looks some good. <laughs> Like, come on! We can't do it! It's it's like the equivalent of like, oh, you're in the wrong hole. Oh, uh, uh, you know, it just felt like bad sex where you couldn't get it right, you know? Yeah. The whole thing was ruined. <laughs> the whole weekend in the green room, it was just, just uh, 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 it sucked. That's tough. Yeah, you I want, know. You want to get into a good rhythm with a person. It's everything. It's everything. And then you realize, like, oh, I can't wait. You get back with your friends, and you're like, ah, this is nice. This is how, this is how people talk. Yeah, exactly. And then you're like, you have a girlfriend? How does she deal with it? Maybe she's adapted to your bad pauses. So what I would do is, because I want to get along with him, so I would just wait way too long to, to let him get it all out, and then I would chime in. Yeah, you just got to be really patient. Yeah. That's tough. It was tough, man. And it's a weird peeve. I get it. And I've never encountered no, you, this. I, I, you, well, the second you said it, I'm like, no, I've had those. Oh, you have? Well, yeah, sure. You have people with weird speech patterns and you have to kind of just, you have to wait it out. Yeah. It's... Yeah. All right. I feel better. 
No, I, I had a weird one. I was checking to a building, uh, and it's one of those, I don't know if it's like a COVID thing or whatever, or if it's just how the building runs. There's like a guy at the front desk, and he was like, wait here for the elevator. And there's like a line. I'm just like, so I don't I don't press the button. He goes, yeah. Oh, and that's like, weird. This is not a normal thing. Yeah. You don't get annoyed. You're, like, you're throwing a weird thing at me. That was definitely a weird thing. And I don't like the the weird thing followed by the annoyance. Yeah, yeah. You're weird. I'm reacting to your weirdness, and you're upset. Yeah. How'd that happen? Yeah, no, I'm like, with you. You don't do that with other shit. I mean, like it's like, meet me on this corner. I'm gonna be an hour late, and you're like, you're gonna be an hour late. Yeah, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> right. All right. Right. It's actually a pretty good move on their part because now you win somehow. I'm the idiot, but you're being the douche. But you don't win because I'm like, this guy's a jerk off. Yeah. Yeah, he sucks. So, yeah, you, you won't hang out with him. I mean, I'm not going to hang out with that desk guy anyway, probably. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm really not going to. But you want to meet his friends and go, you guys see this, right? I have so many questions when I deal with weirdos like that. I think some guys, they're assholes to strangers. Uh... I think some people, like, they're okay to their select friend group. Or sometimes they're just, like, an asshole to even some people in the friend group. But you've seen some of those people with, like, this guy's got, like, a, a social problem. Yeah, for sure. And then you're like, how'd you get hired? You must have not done that in the interview. <laughs> Is this your resume? Yeah, it's my resume, asshole. <laughs> exactly, Fuck. exactly. Jesus Christ. I know. Fucking nerve of this guy. People are kooky. I watched, uh, here's my rec. Yeah. It's not great. I'm not proud of it, but I enjoyed it. And it's a, maybe a guilty pleasure, whatever. I watched King Richard. Oh, I hear it's good. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. It's a little Hollywoody, and they really glam it up, but the story is so good that I had to watch it. But it's got, you know, the cheese on it, and it's sad and heartwarming and all so that shit. So much cheese. So much cheese. But the story's amazing. These two gals from Compton, the dad worked them in the rain, the, the hood, the, the violence, the gunshots, the racism with the country club. Pretty fascinating. So interesting, like sports like tennis and golf and the histories of racism. And then it's like once you start letting people of different races in, look what the fuck happened. Right. The right. Williams sisters, Tiger Woods, hello. I know, but maybe that's why they didn't want to let him in. <laughs> you know? Well, you see old footage of like basketball in the 50s and it's like a white guy like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're just like, yeah, I think we, we need a... Do you guys want ratings to go up or do you want to win? Right. Let's... The Washington Generals, yeah, <laughs> playing the Globetrotters and the Simpsons. So good. Oh, that's what, well, yeah, well, Krusty bet all on them and he's like, oh, I thought the Generals were due. <laughs> that was a bit I tried to do, but it got too dicey about, uh, like, transgender people are, like, dominating in all these sports. And I'm like, that must be how white people felt in the 50s when black people came in. Like, we can't let them play. They're going to win everything. Oh, that's yeah. good. You like that? Yeah, it's funny. Maybe I'll bring it back. It just got, it's, it's race, it's transgender. It was a lot of different edgy shit and i think people pulled back but i'm it's keeping weird. it certain things people just don't want a fucking a piece you know i know like, i'm not good with that it's just certain subject matter yeah it's not even what you're saying i'm not saying anything wrong but i had an abortion joke and a woman just heckled like like what fuck you like got real pissed i'm like it's a joke i'm obvious i opened my saying i'm pro-choice i made a joke but she was like really got worked up and we kind of had a funny exchange by the end, because I think she could tell that I wasn't an asshole. Yeah. And she regretted it a little bit. Good. But uh, she kept being like, why can't I have a bunch of abortions? I was like, I'm saying you can. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you can do it. I mean, like, do whatever you want. And, and I, said, I, said, she, I said 12 abortions or something, and she goes, why can't I have 12? And I was like, well, you know, you interrupt comedy shows. Clearly, you make a lot of mistakes. You might have to get 12. <laughs> That's great. I think some people just want to yell. You know, they're like, here we go. This is my chance. And you're like, oh, you're not actually trying to, like, do good or have justice or save the day you just want to get something out yeah i also think people make like a prejudgment sometimes early in your set if you try to go a little too uh you know edgy early mm -hmm. on they're just a little bit like what do you who the hell do you think you are and you got to earn it a little more so maybe it was on me for doing it too early in the set but also i'm kind of like let's all relax guys yeah it's a comedy show why are you primed already why are you ready to be set off that's the weird part well they might be primed and they're going for the comedy show for the escape so they don't want some people don't want to be challenged that's these true shows. some people that's just true. want like silliness and so look you know we all want different things with entertainment but that's why when you go to a show like at the cellar you get five or six comics they're not all going to be for you right 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 and that's okay just sit back at the last 10 minutes and you're good yeah you don't have to challenge everything but like michelle wolf 
a friend of ours did the correspondence dinner years ago, and she had this whole thing about you guys hate Trump, you yell at Trump, but I think you kind of love Trump because he gives you meaning, gives you purpose, and I I think there's a lot to that. Oh my God! I mean, you think CNN wouldn't kill for Trump right now? Exactly. They just lost Cuomo. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was the highest rated guy. They they love Trump right now. That's true, and then that's weird. So you say you hate him, but you actually love him. I know a couple of people who the January sixth thing happened, and they were like, "This is great." Yeah, and you're like, "I thought it was bad. I yeah. thought it was a horrible thing." And uh, you know, it wasn't bad for America. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, "Oh, this is this is horrible. We love it. We got something. That it's fodder now. We got ammo." Well, once the anger is gone, you kind of have to look at yourself. Right, or you have to find something else to be angry about, and maybe it's harder to find. So exactly, it, once the anger is gone, it, there's sadness. I think. I think you're right. There's it's like almost a hangover. Like a, yeah, hangover, like a feeling of loss. Yes, yes. You get you get drunk on the uh, outrage, and then yeah. the, the hangover sets in. I hope. Yeah. Or they're just like, no, I'm great all the time. I'm right about everything. Yeah. I feel like internalizing is is gone away a little. Yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of things are just like you suck, you suck, everything's bad. I'm great, but everything the the country's bad, but I'm great. You know, you're like maybe you're not great. It's weird because you'd think like the internalizing would be like that's when people would blow up because it's so much pent up rage. But it's almost like people never internalize now. Yeah, everything's out, and they still have the energy to always be angry. Yeah, isn't that weird? Good point. Like, you think like the guy who blows up is like Humphrey Bogart, one of his characters, right? At like age fifty-five, when he's just like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like a dude who's doing that every day. Yes. Have you seen this? Right. Where does that come? I would kill for that energy. Well, you know what? I, I'm with you, but I think it's inside. I think they're mad at their dad. They're mad at whatever. They're mad at something or themselves. So they have it. It's just. It's just. just ever glowing burning inside them that they just have all this energy because it's in them because they won't face that energy oh when you pe- meet people who are angry all the time and always like why can't i'm like if you're not even if you've never even tried therapy i don't want to hear it i know because you're taking that shit out on everyone but you yeah which is toxic yeah we talk about everything's toxic toxic but i'm like maybe you're toxic i'm not saying everyone needs therapy but you know the dude i'm talking about yeah it's guy who's like i don't not for me and you're like you're like the one dude who needs it the most right, right. yeah totally and like i think everybody should try it you say not everybody but try it yeah it's not everybody I, needs it, it but me you never know what you'll get out of it yeah good shrink really seems to care yeah hey we went a long time Take without one of those yeah what uh so that's your. I'm trying to think what my record. I, I watch a bunch of watch a bunch of noirs lately. Uh, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff on um, Criterion. I'm doing I'm doing another Criterion movie because I've just been burning through them. Yeah, but dude, any Hitchcock movie, honestly. Like, oh yeah, he's the I, king. My rec is is I think uh, Rear Window is one of my favorites. If you haven't seen Vertigo, man. Oh, come on. That's like as good as it gets. I love that. Notorious. All those old Hitchcock movies fucking rule. Yeah, yeah. The best. The camera work, the the tension. He builds that tension and then just releases it. It's great. We Might Be Drunk is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's standing in the way of achieving your goals? A lot. Yeah. Figure it out with BetterHelp. Uh you know, look, I've I'm in therapy. It's been very, very big for me. I I love it. Uh, he's he's definitely helped. Oh yeah, I just I, talked to him. Yeah, yeah, great guy, great therapist. BetterHelp is therapy for the 21st uh, century. BetterHelp is professional therapy, all online. It's all remote. Do it from the comfort and privacy of your own home. Flexible schedule, phone or video calls at your convenience. Get a good match. They will put you with a licensed therapist who is right for you. That's the most important part of therapy. You need someone to feel like you can talk to them, who gets you. It's fast. When you sign up, you can start talking to your therapist in less than 48 hours. No waiting around. It's affordable. You didn't have to be rich to pay for this. It's uh, And financial aid's available. That's great. Mm. And now you can send messages to your therapist anytime Paul, what about Bob? Bill Murray. Great movie. Great movie. They'll get back to you in between sessions. Don't like your person. If you want to switch therapists, you can do it anytime for free. Trust me, it helps to have someone outside your world to talk to. It's easy to schedule, affordable, and will take a load of off your shoulders. Over, hundred, over a million people have taken charge of their mental health. Join them. Tell them how to do it, Mark. Uh, BetterHelp has a special offer for our listeners. Visit BetterHelp.com slash drunk for 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash drunk for 10% off your first month. 
BetterHelp.com slash drunk. Sign up for BetterHelp to start living a happier life today. Just try it, folks. You don't like it? Don't keep going. Nate Bergazzi, Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld. You're both kooks. Get some therapy, you chooch. Yeah, it's good stuff. I don't know. I have so many wrecks. Uh, another wreck is just, you know, try to fucking relax this year. <laughs> That's another wreck. Like, we're all at each other's throats. Like, yeah. You know, let's all try to get along. Like, you look at the country and you're just kind of like, hey, let's uh, <laughs> let's just fucking be people again. I know. And look, we're racist. We're sexist. We're homophobic. We got our problems. The border, abortion, like there's problems, but you can get Grubhub anytime <laughs> you want. You know, we got Uber Eats. We got Netflix on the on the dial. It's all right there. It's all on your phone. You can see the weather. You can call your aunt. It's all right there. Porn is free. Yeah. You know? A lot so of like, ads, though. But lot it's free. Ads. Yeah, you're right. That is a bitch when you got your dick in hand. They're like, get your dick bigger. You're like, come on. I'm how trying about, to get off how here. How about when you get these thin ho- hotel walls and you're like, he, he definitely heard my computer say, welcome to Jerkmate. I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Jerkmate. But, you know, it's really, uh, everything is... There's a lot of problems, but a lot is good. A lot is good. We do tend to focus on the bad rather yes. than the good. And I think, you know. Which is a sign of good, I think. If you focus on the bad, that means you got time to focus on the bad. We're that's, not. I think that's. So, think about when you like fight with your girlfriend, even. It's like you have a lot of free. You both have too much free time, and there's like a fight is just created. Right. You don't fight when you're busy. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You got a 15 minute window. You're not working in a fight. Fighting is a privilege. It's a privilege. Interesting. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. We got we got it pretty good. Yeah. And we, if- we fought for four hours last night. Must be nice. <laughs> yes. Must exactly. be nice. I was tilling a field or, uh, you know, pulling a mule or some shit. So, yeah. Then, then you hear about all this slavery in China with the Middle Easterners and all this shit. Oh, yeah. and you're like, Chinese people can only be on TikTok for two hours a day or whatever. Not to pick on China. I mean, that's, I mean, that sounds fair. That sounds pretty good. I actually. think we could all use a limit. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, that's look. I'm, I'm obviously not, but at the same time, do you need to be on TikTok for more than two hours a day? I know, I know. It's the same shit over and over. Jesus, it's, is that real? Two hours? That's the limit? Yeah. It's twerking, Good. it's cats, it's it's a fist fight, whatever it is. Uh, tell me you're from the 90s without saying it. Like, all right, all right, is this what we're doing? You can learn the xylophone. I always get the guy who's like, look at this fucking breakfast burrito. Oh, look how juicy that shit is. I'm like, all right, dude. I know. Look, look at this shit. Let's see if it's the best burrito in... It's fucking good. Yeah, and that's got fucking, 18 million. 18 and you million. Put, you work on a bit for six months. It's for like sure. 40,000 views. That's brutal. I know. I can't figure out that algo. You, you film yourself going, hey, I got a boner. I'm farting. And they go, hey, this is gold. And then you put out a killer bit with a hot crowd. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, it's very it's strange. Well, well, TikTok is one where it just mutes everything. I, everything I put up there to just like mute it. Really? Yeah, I guess my shit's offensive to, to their algorithm. I have no idea. I don't know, folks. This ain't good, all this muting and censoring. Like, then we go to YouTube, and then maybe they'll start censoring. That's the worry, honestly, is, like, we all act like whatever. Like, look, it starts with, obviously, like, I think the cune on people, whatever. They're all fucking nuts. But, like, it starts with that shit sometimes, and you do have to worry that, like, yeah. they, they keep mo- moving the goal line in. Well, this joke wasn't good. Well, guess what? When it's uh, an algorithm that can't detect sarcasm... Like, we might say fucked up shit, and we're clearly kidding. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, now we're getting buried. And it, it is dangerous for uh, self-produced content. Yes. We rely on ticket sales. We rely on eyeballs seeing it. And, and people... I'm seeing it a little bit already. Really? I am. Are you not at all? I guess I don't monitor that much. I should. I see it a little bit. It's definitely dropped on Instagram. We used to get half a million views and shit on Instagram. Now it's like, well, if it's I also, get a hundred, I'm it's like, It's also hey. been oversaturated. That's, That's the other true, thing. too. That's it's true, It's also too. so funny to be complaining about. We have these, like, offensive <laughs> jokes, and we're like, why didn't it do better? Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, I like offensive comedy. I know. I assume other people do, too, especially do. in this world of censor. I think people want to get a little dirty. Yeah, dude. What uh, what else is going? Where where you got uh, where are you going coming up this month? I'm excited. I'm going to I'm going to West Coast a lot. I'm 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 doing La Jolla Comedy Store. It's like the Beverly Hills of San Diego. San Diego the, rules, man. San Diego's amazing. It's the people great are great. It's just it's another world out there. You know, every time I go to San Diego, I'm like, why don't I live here? 
What am I doing? This place is magical. This palm trees, the sun is shining. The beach. The beach. Even it's... the homeless guys look like Hugh Jackman there. It's crazy, <laughs> isn't know. it? I know. They got full heads of hair. They're rugged. Yeah. It's true. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. They got nice cars and beautiful women and the drinks are flowing and the bars are full. It's great. And then I come back to New York and I get shit on by a pigeon. I'm like, all right, this fits. But yeah, yeah, I'm going to La Jolla. That's a, Have you been there? I love it, yeah. That's a great club. Great That's club. Place Classic. Is magical. Classic yeah. club. Sacramento, I like that club. Not a, not a lively town. Sacramento, I'll be there in February, yeah. Oh, nice. It's, it's got its charm, but you got to find it. I feel like a lot of dudes like look like they think they're UFC fighters in, in Sacramento. Yeah. I'm like, this dude's going to put me in a rear naked choke because I cut him in line or something. Right. You know? and I'm like, I didn't cut you. He's like, mm. Yeah, neck tattoo. He's got the weird haircut with the sides are short. Yeah, I got uh, what am I? I'm in Toronto. I mean, have you done? So you just did Vancouver. Is it weird the the customs going through security? That was a nightmare. Really? Yeah. Well, I I didn't tell you my story. No. Oh, buckle up for this one, trench coat. All right. So, got my COVID test. You got to have a test within whatever seventy two hours. Really? Yeah, you got to do that. Got the test. I was like, that's not a big deal. I get it. I'm going to do another country. Got the test, got the flight. You got to connect in Seattle. You can't go straight there anymore. So I was like, all right, whatever. It's a fucking six-hour flight. You make it. I get to Seattle. I go, all right, I'm going to Air Canada, going to Vancouver. They go, you got your test? I go, oh, I did the test. I'm I'm a good guy. And you can just show on your phone? Showed on my phone, and they yeah. go, hmm, when did you get this test? I go, I don't know, Tuesday? They go, hmm, supposed to be 72 hours. And they just... 74. Oh, my God. And I go, well, come on. I don't have COVID. It's 72, 74. I got your test. I did it. I just flew here from New York City. Six hours cross country. And they go, 74. So I go, what do I do? They go, we can get a later flight and go get a test right now. And I'm like, well, then I'll never make the two shows. And they go, ah, sorry. And I go, what the fuck? They go, well, you might as well get tested. And then maybe you can make it. So I got tested. There's a line to get tested. The test results take an hour. So I go, fuck it. I rent a car. I take the test, rent a car, start driving to the border. It's a three-hour drive. I get the results after an hour and a half of driving. I'm already halfway there. Hit the border, show them the test, drove to the gig. Damn. It was a nightmare, but I pulled it off. Damn. Yeah, I had to rent a car. I, I get mean, it with going brutal. to other countries now, but God, this sucks. I know. This fucking sucks. Even the passport is annoying. I'm like, oh, where the hell's my yeah, passport? Yeah, I've got that. Uh, I think now if you have the enhanced ID, you don't need a passport. Ooh. Also, do you, have, you do have the the global entry thing? No, I wish. Why don't you get you that? You have that? Yeah. I thought you would be a spy or a president to have that. Spy? Who's got, got global entry? What are you, James Bond? What are you, Barack Obama? Who's got a... Who's got a... I think most comics who do the road have global entry. Global entry? It's so elite. It sounds no, so like global like entry. it's like pre for fucking Canada. Really? Yes. Am I, what, Wait, am give I that wrong a here? Goog. I've never heard of this global entry. That sounds great. That sounds like you're fucking uh, foreign women. Yeah, dude. Look global entry. Frequently asked questions. Uh oh, I can't read that. Yeah, but what the hell? Either way, do you have, do you have, how, when do you, how how long do you think till you need glasses? Oh, uh, good question. My dad has them. I'm getting there. I think. Really? I mean, look at this shit. This. I mean, are we supposed to be able to? Re Every time you do an eye test, it gets worse. I know. Well, we've been drinking too. <laughs> that doesn't help the eye test. Uh, create a trusted traveler program account. Uh, I'm already out. I can't make an account. $100 non-refundable fees required each application. Well, they just lost Norman. Yeah. Can't do it. Uh, you will need to bring a valid passport. All right, all right. This doesn't sound so bad. It's. I think it's worth it. It's Permanent in my drawer resident. somewhere. Okay. Well, you'd have this? Yeah. How'd you do it? You just went to the place to get it. DMV? It's wherever I got the pre-check, I think. I, I wonder I if I know. can knock them both out one day. You should do this shit, man. Wait, where is that? Global Entry or Enrollment Center. You got a, uh, you got a, you got got an office? I'll go tomorrow. I got the day off. Hit it up, dude. I will. Matt, you might need to help him with this. I don't think Mark's going to do it. This might be like health insurance where Mark's like, oh, I'll yeah. do it. Cut to a week later. He's like, ah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, bro, you got to come with me. I need you. I need your support. I got to hold your hand the whole time. Anything with accounts or logins. It's, it's a lot. Dude, my ADD, too. I'm like, I'm on. I'm like, fuck this shit. It was just so easy before you go, I'd like this. Here's the money. And there you go. That was it. It was a, it was a transaction. 
God, it's fucking count. being an adult is exhausting. It I do is. feel like anytime I'm doing something that's like not comedy related, I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> I know, I know. And it's getting bad though. I'm at a barbecue with people I love, and I'm like, ah, I should be writing. I look at bills, and I'm just like, yeah, I could be writing a joke. Fuck yeah, this I know, shit. I know, I know. Bills are tough because you're losing money and it's a nightmare to do. I know. So it's a double whammy, but you got to do it. Got to do it. But like Seinfeld would park anywhere and he would get tickets on his Porsche. And I was like, oh man, that sucks. You got a $60 ticket. He's like, I just give it to my assistant. They pay it. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. I get a ticket. I have to sit down. I got the, I got a red, red visor on with the, with the papers going, a cigar. I like do my finances, figure it all out put a stamp on it, write the letter, mail it in. He's like, I just give it to them. Being a billionaire sounds good. Yeah, it must be nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. He just breaks the law and he's like, help someone else deal with it. Yeah. That's fucking great. Because we are so worried about financial um, penalties. He doesn't have that worry. So yeah. he can just do whatever he wants. I think Epstein didn't have that worry either. <laughs> I think he just did whatever. He's like, I'll have my assistant deal with it. Yeah, that's true. Now I'm he's dead lame. and she's on trial. <laughs> Why can't we get that trial on air, by the way? It's weird. I, I was listening to one podcast that said that she's getting, the, her lawyer's like, he's, now that he's, the state couldn't keep him open and he's dead. So there's all this anger. So there's no resolution for his victims. So mm. she's kind of getting the brunt of the blame. But then Ooh. the other people are like, but you were the assistant. Babe. She I mean, was you the were recruiter. The, she yeah. was the scout. Yeah, you kind of uh, greased the wheels a little here. I heard she blew Clooney. Do you hear that? Really? That came out today. Yeah, Google that, huh? Sounds like they were Casamigos. <laughs> yes. Damn. Just the facts of life. One fine day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three kings. Ah, shit. <laughs> that didn't work. Um, trying to think of another clue. Batman. Burn after reading. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Burn after anal. Um, but yeah, she, she did. That's what I heard. Damn. She was in a tryst. Boasted about tryst with Clooney. Oh, Clooney man, who has any head? Well done, Clooney. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's not bragging about that one. <laughs> no, no, no. Giddy is a schoolgirl after performing oral sex on Clooney in a bathroom at a show business event. Come that's on. How, that's, how, that's how hot George Clooney is. You blow him in a bathroom and you're, you're like, girls, gather around. <laughs> yes. Tell the reporters. She had given Clooney a blowjob jo- blow in the bathroom at some random event. All right. She never let that one down. There you go. Billionaire's Playboy Club. Love to brag about her rendezvous with various lovers. Woo. Damn. Now, I'd like to hear that on the trial. What was his dick like? How was it? Did it smell? Were there pubes? Talk to me, Jizz. There's a Playboy Club right by here. I really? Did, I did a gig there once. Uh, yeah, Adam Glenn, you know Adam? Yeah, good he guy. Works, yeah, he works TMZ. He booked me on it, and he was like, he's so funny because he like, He's such a good schmoozer, but you could tell. They were, he was like, we got Sam Morell here to the person uh, – you know who runs the club he's like can we get him a membership no dues and she was like uh yeah i'll see what i can do you can tell she was like go fuck yourself right but he's like he just performed at the club but it's like a, they have like big he's like they have pajama parties it's all ridiculous yeah like, they have pajama parties dude oh man that's gonna the be playmates but, but it does feel like an out of place in time thing doesn't it it does and if we went there like as single guys they'd be like who are they yeah like, like why are you here yeah there's like basketball players and celebrities there and we're like hello yeah so, and by celebrities you're like is that steve gutenberg what the hell <laughs> the hell is this what year is this i know I'm sure Gutenberg and guys like that can ride out the dad issues on some ladies. Like, I watched Police Academy when I was six. I thought you were so cute. Yeah, I'm sure. You, yeah, I think they prey on that whole thing at that age. Yeah, Like weird. Bob Saget, I'm sure, has all kinds of young girls. Oh, my God. He's married now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'm saying in the before his marriage, I bet he got a lot of like, oh, my God, I watched you every night. You know, you got it, dude. <laughs> Fucking full house, man. Yeah. She's, so, he's who's fuck, so bad? He's fucking her in the ass. She's like, have mercy. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> love you, Saget. I love him. He's such a good dude. Now, you think he's living off that house, uh, full house? Is that just, that's he's got to be royalties for decades. I think he's very well off. Really? I, I mean, would you think, I mean, yeah, he must be. Bob Saget net worth. Boy, I mean, that these came are up always, right away. These are going to say we're worth 25, though, so I you got to put that into account. 
That's bittersweet for us. Oh, 50 mil. Eh, I thought it'd be more. I, he's, what is I don't he, six, know. Uh, six three. Okay. I bet he's got more. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you think about how long he's been famous and if you, you know, invest and... Yeah. And two primetime shows in the 80s. Two. America's Funniest Home oh, Videos. Plus touring, plus movies, plus... Yeah, AFV, I forgot. Direct the Dirty Work. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure that didn't bring in a, a big buck. <laughs> but yeah. But it's some good stories, though. So great. Great movie. You know, I just watched the Kenny G documentary. What? I'm just curious, because you hear it. Kenny G is a punchline. He's a joke. The guy's amazing. Was it good? It's all right, but uh, you get to know him a little more. He's a Jew from Seattle. He's obsessed with, he's a perfectionist. He's like, I want to be the best dad. I want to be the best clarinet player. I want to be the best piano player. I want to be the best sax. He, he's a golfer. He's a pilot. I mean, the guy's a nightmare. Wow. He just never stops. I mean, the guy is very impressive. He invested in Starbucks before anybody. That was another couple mil he made. Great sax, can do all the, the genres. It's incredible. It's a, it's a, it's an eye opener. Because wow. all you hear about it, this guy, oh, he's a goof. He's Kenny G with the hair and the sax and the Muzak. You know, he's in the dentist's office. Da da da. You're getting a, a cavity filled. But the guy's a genius. It is weird where they play his music. I know. That's got to be rough. That's like if you're an artist and you're really successful, but your work is known for like a, a La Quinta. Right, right. Like, all right, yeah. Yeah, you're the waiting room at a gyno. Yeah, that's like him. Like Yanni or something. Yeah, well, who's Yanni? He's a Greek guy. He does the uh, he does the sounds of stuff. What 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 is it? I don't know. Yeah, the tell us that he... bit about him. Oh really? Well, they did all these jokes. They played a string of jokes about um like SNL and all these guys making fun of Kenny G. And he's like, yeah, it sucks, but I'm I'm awesome. He's very like uh, sure of himself. Oh okay. Yeah, which I don't have that. If a bunch of news stories or not news story, but like comedy shows were about you and they were shitting on you yeah that would hurt i'd be crushed that'd be tough look at these guys with the hair what are they thinking you have to be very confident it's the, the they, don't have, they don't have a lot of friends going you sure that's what it is you need some of those friends like think about if we rolled into the comedy cellar with hair i mean first off i don't have hair like that so i can no but come, we if go you, up but if you did oh yeah i'll look like a racer head if this shit keeps going <laughs> right right but look i mean ima guy. imagine rolling in with that hair they'd just be like well look at this pretty yeah. boy you just get fucking railed i have that at the gap i'm in the i'm in the green room and i agree the dressing room like oh look at this jacket it's like a leather jacket. Then I just hear every high school friend going, what are you, fucking crazy, you piece of shit? You can't pull that off, and I take it right off. They followed you to go shopping. Yeah, They're yeah. still there. Uh, yeah, no, man, It's I'm with you. I put on a jacket, and I'm just like, who do you think you are? I know. Who the fuck do you think you are? But just, you, you know. You gotta, we got to push through. We got to grow up. Kenneth With this Gorlick. jacket, apparently a detective. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> apparently I'm on Law & Order SVU yeah. for this one. Is that Count Chocula? <laughs> Who is that? I'm a vampire hunter. <laughs> yeah, but look I mean, look at him. He's a, he's a walking punchline, but he's very sure of himself. He's confident. His name's Kenneth Gorlick. He's obsessed with music. He said he practices three hours a day still. He looks like a number two pencil, pencil with a hairnet or something. It's like fucking <laughs> yeah. two hours a day? Three. That's a lot. Still goes. Still going. Well, I mean, that's how you become one of the best. That's what it is, yeah. What what channel is the doc on? HBO is doing this whole music box thing, and it's got, like, everybody. And, but they're picking interesting um, interesting people to use. Kenny G, I think uh, they're doing a whole, a whole run of people who are, you wouldn't think about in music, but they're huge. When is HBO going to become global? They're not? No, I think Netflix is, and YouTube are the only global ones. Really? I think that's why those comedy specials just don't do as well. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm, I don't know. I thought they were global. HBO, is that- No, they have like 40 million subscribers compared to Netflix, like 210 million. Oh, wow. Yeah, crazy. But how many of those are stolen passwords? You know, I mean, that's, they've got to cut that in half. Really? I'm not paying for it, are you? Netflix? No, I'm not. That's like the only one I don't pay for. That's my dad's account. I pay for all the others. Yeah, I don't pay for any. Really? And I steal cable outside of that. <laughs> you should keep saying this. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're going to be in court. They're like, he steals cable. You're like, no, I don't. They roll the footage. <laughs> I steal cable. <laughs> I steal ca every episode. Matt, you and I steal cable. 
Well, when's the last time you watched live TV on your TV set? I mean, I know sports. I'll do sports. Oh, sports. Yeah, but that's, that's it. it. No news. I do news, but I do the channels that come with my TV. So it's like I have a Samsung. So you get like CBS News. You get like oh, you get you get those. Right, right. Yeah, I don't really watch cable news much. Occasionally on the road, I do. It's just it's like noise in the hotel. Yeah. Well, you get why kids don't do it because you go through the guide and you're like, "There's nothing on." It's like Ginsu knives, uh, fucking what's that? C-SPAN. You it's know, horrible. it's horrible. You know, it's weird. You're like, it's like Russian roulette, but they're all bullets. Right. You know, it just sucks. You're like, how are these all fucking bad? Um, it's true. Golden Girls is on. You know, then you got to sit through commercials. There's nothing good on there. Yeah, it's weird. It's like uh, it's kind of like Pandora, where you're like just hope, but it's like Pandora for shit you don't like. Yeah, Pandora at least yes. you put in something you like, but you know you you kind of give them this random shit, and you're like, I mean, there is a weird satisfaction though when you're flipping and you land on something you like. That is nice. Like same with the radio. If you're just like, because you don't use a radio much either anymore, but if you if you just like you're doing it and then you hit like. Oh shit! Teenage Wasteland. That was you know what I mean. Yeah, that's but, a good point. Or like you're scrolling on the TV and you're like, oh, Office rerun. That's cool, but it's so fucking. And but then you think about it, you're like, well, I could just pick any episode of whatever. Exactly. On any, you know, you just look where it's streaming. But I guess there is that excitement factor. I know, and that's where I gotta cool it because I'll be like these kids today, and then I just slowly wean off too. I become like them because it just it's better. It's better, but then also it's like we talk about how expensive cable is, but then how many like streamers do you have to buy to watch what you want? You know? I know. That's how they get you. Did you ever have a kid? Like we didn't have cable growing up for a while. My dad's like, we don't need that. And then eventually we got it. Um, but I wonder if there's kids now who are like, come on, dad, get Netflix. We're, we're watching TV here. It's I think most parents, I think most, I think the reason Disney is number two is because of kids. Oh, uh, well, I hope ev so. Everyone has. <laughs> It's, kids are special needs adults. <laughs> Who else is watching? Uh... Just a six-year-old man in a turtleneck. Honey, do you want to watch Hawkeye, the series? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, it's fucking weird. It's uh, I guess Disney yeah. Channel was huge for. I mean, they could just, parents could just put it on and go like. But they all have right. all the Marvel stuff, and they have. Oh, I mean, they do have yeah. Simpsons, you know. They do. Yeah, oh. that's the big thing that for like guys like us. But yeah, they have like you know they have the Beatles thing. That's Disney? That's Disney Plus. Whoa. They do have some stuff, but yeah, they have a lot. It's mostly for kids. And I think they have ESPN. They own ESPN. I don't know if they have it on this. Maybe they, they have own it. They have like- uh, Gary, when Disney starts owning shit. Well, you get that nostalgia shit where you get like the X-Men, like remember the oh, X-Men cartoon? Oh, I love that. Da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na. Wolverine was like a comic. Oh, yeah. Cyclops was like a fucking perfectionist. Wolverine yeah. was like the bad boy who just like didn't play by the rules. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, one of the rare comics with stubble. Yeah. You know, dude. he was grungy. He was gritty. He, he had was edge. short, too. He was short. He, he was angry. He was short, too. <laughs> yeah, short guys are pissed. And then he had, you know, could heal really quickly, which uh, after a few of these, I wish I had. Yeah, I that know. That dude never got hung over. Good point. They never talk about that. Awesome. Well, you got herpes? Like, I'll be good. The girl's like, hey, I'm We're clearing up as we speak. I got chlamydia. He's like, I'll still fuck you. She's like, you better wear a condom. He's like, ah. <laughs> Wolverine did not wear condoms. No, no. There was two. He was like the first depressed uh, superhero we were exposed to. Yeah, but you got to watch out for the fingering. <laughs> like, easy, Wolfie. You're on your period. No, I'm not. Shit, I think I just killed you. <laughs> Woo, he, yeah. He was, he was like a depressed superhero he's always like sad you're right what happened his mom died something happened he was just he was just he never got the girl it's like cyclops got the girl he was just like a sad though that was a good show that was a good show professor x was in a wheelchair beast was smart gambit was fun loved gambit as a new orleans guy gambit was big because he had the cards and uh how you doing shit i guarantee you know <laughs> they made him all cajun -y. oh gambit gambit fucking rocked yeah it's funny how comic books, we shit on them like, oh, this guy's a comic book guy. He's a nerd. He's a virgin. He can't get laid. Get out of the basement. You live with your mom. But then they make so much money. So then, like, you yeah, get well, Hugh nerds, Jackman Nerds do make it. money. I mean, what, look at tech. Look at tech. Tech N was maybe nerds the- Nerds run the world. Look nerds at Zuckerberg's run the world. a nerd. Yeah, I think that was a flip. 
You know, like nerd. It, Revenge of the Nerds was like a crazy idea. It's a comedy. Revenge of the Nerds. Get out of here. Come on. Nerds would win. Then you rewatch it. There's at least two rape scenes in that movie. You're like, all right, this ain't good. And they're like, panty raid. You're like, that's you can't do A panty raid is like. That's over. Yeah. That's over. Or the one where he just like bangs her in the boyfriend's costume. I'm like, you oh. tricked a woman into banging. This is crazy. And then he ate her out. As, yeah. as, uh, that's basically the Houdini. Remember the Houdini? But then at the end, they play Queen, We Are the Champions. They're like, ah, fuck it. They they earned it. You know? <laughs> that movie was, uh, I loved it as a kid. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I John mean, Goodman. The bad guy. Yeah, Lamar. Remember Lamar he had the Latrell. big. Can we get that song? <laughs> when the nerds. Yeah. Clap your hand, oh, everybody. yeah, with yeah. Anthony Edwards. That dude. Are we, are we going to get demonetized if we do oh, that? Oh, we might. And fuck it. Don't do it. Now they're gonna have a movie called Revenge of the of the Jocks. They have to go the other way now. <laughs> the nerds are bullying them. You'll never get into college. Yeah. Like these fucking nerds. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't know how to do taxes. They're in they're in a huddle for football. The girls are blowing the nerds because like he's gonna be really successful. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, we gotta win this game. We need a scholarship. That's true. They're like, you don't know how to do Robin Hood, Bitcoin. <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> retard. Yeah, you're right. They made four of those. They really Damn. started slipping. Yeah, remember but- Booger. Booger was the sh- he was the fucking man. I loved Booger. They had a ten year run, eighty four to ninety four. Three and four were pretty terrible. I didn't even know about those. I watched them all as a kid. Wow. Number two, Barry Sobel. That's right. Big part. He had a run. Yeah, dude. we know Barry Sobel. We know him. Not bragging. <laughs> I mean, that guy was a phenom in the eighties. Uh, Stand up comic did Carson blew it out. Friends open with for, Tom Hanks. Open for Eddie Murphy. That's right. Nice tour. Yeah, it was Punchline. I used to walk around the city with Barry Sobel, and he, all these black guys were like, Barry Sobel, Sobel. I'm like, every you know every black guy? is like, I did Eddie Murphy's show once, and that was it. What is, uh? can you pull up his thing on Dr. Katz? I wonder if they have that, Barry Sobel oh, and Dr. Katz. Oh, talk about a throwback. Dr. Dr. Katz. Katz was the shit. Oh, Barry with an E. Oh, it's an A. There we go. There he is. Dr. Katz. Dr. Katz was a show on Comedy Central that had squiggly lines. Oh, can you pull that up? Let's see. There it. we go. Are they going to kill us? Because Comedy Central is a bunch of cheapskates. Unsympathetic place in the world. You go to the person behind the counter whose job it is to help you. I say, you know, I've lost my luggage, typical New York style. The person goes, yeah, that's all I need now. You and your bags. What do, you, what do you want me to pick up the airport and shake it till your bags fling out? Who am I, Kreskin? What am I, Yuri Geller? Shirley MacLaine in the head? What am I, What am I, the magician, uh, David Copperballs? What? Was this the Psychic <laughs> Bags Balls <laughs> Network? Did you know your bags went to San Jose? Hey. How do I, hey, excuse me. Excuse, no, no, excuse me. I think you're a little out of line. Hey, here's something. You know what your bags look like, and you can't find them. I don't know what they look like. Ah, man. Barry Sobel. Huge. That Dr. was entertainment Cass, back in the Dr. 90s. Dr. Cass. Oh, fun show. And a brilliant joke writer, by the way. I love his stuff. He did. He used to do a joke about, uh, I just did a benefit for the uh, the survivors of the last benefit I did. <laughs> wow, that's his? Yeah. That's great. Classic. I think he's in a wheelchair now. I think he's MS. Oh, damn. He was so funny. So That funny. show was incredible. Great show. I love, him, I love him telling the joke, and Dr. Gatz goes, what? Yeah. That's, I mean, it's so funny. What is such an underrated punchline? What? What? Yeah, that's gold. Do you have any bits you're working on? Oh, boy. What you shouldn't have asked. I, I'm, I'm backlogged. I finally had a, like a rush of me too. creativity. Me too. Took a, took long enough for me. I got two. Hmm. The question is, which one? I'll try this one. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. So I got this car now, and I'm like, I'm actually trying to invest in the car. Like, I'm changing the oil. I'm putting fluids in it. I'm like trying to be hands on with the car, and it makes you love the car more. You know, I'm out there, ee, ee, and it made me realize, thank God, babies take nine months. Because if you could make a baby in five minutes as a woman, they'd all be in the dumpster. Because you need that time to fall in love with it. You you work hard for it. You have the labor, labor of love, you know? And, like, imagine you're like, oh, I got a hot date tonight. I'm pregnant. Ah, I'll make one in, when it's over. You know, if a baby was that easy to make, you wouldn't care about it as much. Interesting. That's all I got. Yeah, yeah. If a baby were that interesting, were that easy to make, 
you wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, it's like fast food versus a gourmet meal. Right. You like, really prepare it. Yeah, you, you care about it because this, this took care, this took work. Yes, which is probably why so many men leave because they didn't do any of the work. They just got off, you know, and the baby is done. But she was like, I love this thing. You're just going to leave the family? And he's like, ah, I'm good. It's but like she, why your mom gets so mad when you don't appreciate a, a meal she works really hard yes, on. Yes, exactly. That took me eight hours. You're right. like, I'm sorry, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I got to go. I got I to gotta see my friends. But the baby takes so long to make for a woman that they love it. Thank God. It, it would be horrible if they were made in five minutes because you just keep making them. I'll make another one. But the fact that it's hard to do... Makes you appreciate. I don't know it. if they throw them in the dumpster if they make them. Fun. But like, yeah, you would you would keep trying. Yeah, this yeah. one looks weird. Yes, exactly. I could just knock this out again in five minutes. But the process of it makes it really worth something. That's all I got. But I feel like there's something there. I could play with that. And this is starting with the car. Yeah, I could start with anything, but the car is where I got the idea. The it's baby, satisfying. The baby is... Um, it's like a rich kid who's given everything. He doesn't appreciate it. Then he ends up on opioids, you know, because he's, he's got no... It's the satisfaction of something comes from the work uh, working on it. Right. But the, but I don't know if that's the, the angle, because the dad is satisfied too, I think. What do you mean? Because he got off? No, because there's a baby. I don't, oh. I don't think he's not happy with the baby. I think so. I think that's tough. Right, right. The the dad. Well, the dad stays with the woman and the, the wife or whatever, and they they work on it together. She's pregnant. He's helping her. Then he's invested. That's true. So he's like the sous chef. Yeah, there you go. She's the chef. He's like he's like seasoning. She's really doing the heavy lifting. Right, right. But yeah. Then he, the dad is like, I'll do the dishes. You know, yes. that's like the diaper. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, that's a good aspect. The 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 cook part. It is like a meal you labor over. Yes, and you care more about it. You get Grubhub. You're like, ah, there it is. You know, ah, that's good. But if you really sit there with the food and the sauce and the seasoning and prepare it. It means more to you. Well, the takeout is kind of like a one night stand. You, you got the wrappers. You, yes. you toss it out. Right, right. Imagine a one night stand calling. You go, "I'm pregnant." You're like, "Ah, oh, that was, you know, that was a pizza." You know, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Could be something. There's something here. Okay. But I think the idea of like you're invested, but then I'm trying to think of like an adoption angle too, because mm. you know, you're like you care because you did the work, but you also like. Oh, that's good. But then also, if you can't get a meal, you're grateful for a meal. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I'm trying to think of like, Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to open this up. We'll work more. for food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that adoption process is a nightmare. Yeah. So you almost kind of earn it there, too. And you can't have a baby yourself, so it does mean more. Yeah. There's mm. something here for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll noodle. I like the adoption angle. Tell me if you've heard this before. Because I'm like, I like this idea and I don't know if it's been done before. It sounds like maybe someone could have done it. I want to make sure they haven't. Mm -hmm. So there, you saw that congressman holding all the guns. No. There was that picture of that congressman. You, you saw what I'm talking about, right? Holding I don't all think the guns. So. With his family. The whole family's holding the rifles. Uh, is this the, the, the shooter in Michigan? No, that was the crumbly or whatever. That was a different thing. Mm. Um, yeah, you saw this. Well, I did not see this. Oh, really? Well, I was doing a thing about how, like, these people, when they post gun pictures, they always act like they're responsible gun owners. But, like, you're posting it because you think you look cool. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, if you're responsible, how come these people never post a picture with a fire extinguisher? Oh. Like, you never see them post just, like, a fire extinguisher, like, I hope I never have to use this. But if I do, I'll fucking do it, dude. Yeah, that's true. You know, like, that's, yeah. have you heard something like that? No, I like it. Okay. And fire extinguishers have a safety on it, too. Yeah, I, one of the lines was, I'll, I'll spray a whole school. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's not it, though. That's not what I'm going right, with. Right, right. I can do better than that, but I think like there's something there, right? I love that, yeah. And that's a firearm, and the fire extinguisher, maybe your arm's on fire. You got to put it out. Ah, I'm reaching. There's something here. Yeah, I love that. It, it, they talk about responsibility. That's the angle. Yeah, and you're just like, this isn't about responsibility. This is, you think you look cool. Yeah, no one's holding up condoms. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no one's posting an Instagram picture with a, a divorce lawyer. I'm happily married, but just in case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just in case I have to use this. Yeah, fire extinguisher is funny, though, because it's also an object that shoots. Exactly. I like that a lot. That's big. 
Um, should we plug dates? Oh yeah. I mean, do we do we get it in? Oh okay. I got. I'm in Toronto. I believe this comes out the first week of January, so I'll be here on Friday, and uh, that's January seventh uh, at some theater. I forgot. It's on my website. Uh, one night only, baby. So I hope Ooh. I see. Or maybe we added. Well, hopefully we added one. Who the hell knows? But yeah, I'll be there. I'll be at. Uh, I'll be at uh, Richmond, Virginia, Sandman, uh, January. I'll be at uh, Timonium, Maryland, uh, Hartford, Connecticut, Sacramento, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I think we're going to add an L.A. date. Hopefully add San Diego and Houston at some point. We'll see. Samuel.com slash shows. And the big one is Beacon Ooh! Theater, May 7th. You better come out, baby. New York City. Hell come yeah. On. Can't beat that Beacon. That's going to be epic. You I, hope go you guys, I hope you guys come out in New York. Go support. And email us stuff. Uh, we might be drunkpod at gmail.com. Rex, peeves, jokes, drinks, whatever. Mark, where are you going to be? Here, man? here. Yes, yes. Send us anything you got. To the Patreon. Packages to Gotham Studios on 38th Street. Uh, I'm at Sacramento Punchline. Then the uh, the Stress Factory in Connecticut. Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. They got a new club now. Oh, nice. Uh, Cincinnati Funny Bone, the Liberty. A little outside of Cincinnati, let's be honest. 30, 40 minutes outside. But they, they do a good job there. They do. It's a good room. It's a good time. Good staff. And uh, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm blanking. Oh, I'm doing Kentucky. Something in Kentucky. Lexington? Not Lexington. They got a new one. Louisville. has got a Oh, just open? Yeah, just open. That's a cool city. So come out to that Kentucky. I never go to Kentucky. I've never so. been there. I hear it's cool. Yeah, I can't wait. Love Kentucky. Underrated state. All kinds of good stuff. MarkNormanComedy.com, uh, Syracuse, and also La Jolla, and oh, there's one more. God. Kansas City. There it is. I pulled it out of my you ass. Did it. And uh, thank you. We love you. Appreciate it. Happy New Year. Praise Allah. Comedy.